Hi, my name is Elliot and I'm Nodal's Chief Blockchain Officer. I'm here with Eva, our little mascot. The parachain auctions require projects to bid for their parachain slot. However, the bidding is not done as you would expect in a normal system. They actually rely on something called a candle auction. The idea of a candle auction was introduced where bidders for an auction would bid at various time, but the end of the auction will be marked by a candle going off. When the auction is ended, you, you, know, you know the winner and you let them get their furniture and you take their money. For Polkadot, things are a little bit different and due to, to the decentralization nature of Polkadot. So if we can dive a bit into his internals. The main idea is that for the first two days, we just collect bits. We don't do any exotic system. After these two days, there is five days during which projects can submit their bids again, if needed, if it's higher, for instance. However, they do not know exactly if their bid will be considered for the auction. Just because at the end of the five days, the auction stops. The Polkadot validators use what's called a verifiable random function to select a random winning block during the last five days. For the block, they look up at the state for the given block and they choose a winner during that block as a winner of the auction which creates an interesting incentive where projects and users are actually incentivized to contribute as early as they can without trying to hold their bid for the last minute or the last second or the last block, which is a common problem on platforms like eBay, where when you're trying to bid for your new pair of shoes, during the last 30 seconds, everybody bids and you have no way to counter the bid. That's what we call sniping and candle auctions are a nice way to make it more fair and to prevent that sniping issue.